Welcome to a demonstration of Site Studio to Web Center Sites content migration using the Team Sites Connector. For the past half decade, when it came to web content management in the Oracle stack, clients almost universally turned to Web Center content and Site Studio. Content's ECM foundation paved the way for a powerful web content management model delivered on an all in one platform for the management of enterprise content, digital assets, records, and of course, websites. It was this ECM foundation, however, that while lifting Site Studio up, also held it back. The Web Center Sites product, originally called Fatwire, was developed from the ground up for pure web content management capabilities. Unlike Site Studio, it doesn't rely on a foundation of content items, referred to as contributor data files, which are simply uniquely structured XML files. Sites instead employs a database-driven, flexible asset model with expanded functionality, such as content targeting, social engagement, and out-of-the-box edge caching. Unsurprisingly, over the last 18 months, clients have been keenly interested in both linking these platforms and moving data between them. Team released the first to market Web Center Sites connector, and with subsequent client deployments, the product has now successfully migrated an estimated 50,000 content items. Beyond content items, however, we realized a good portion of the Site Studio client base would be looking for a fast, easy, and accurate method for migrating basic Site Studio elements from one WCM model to the other. As such, we've expanded the Sites Connector's capabilities to enable just that either singular or in batches, you can now migrate simple Site Studio elements into pre-assigned Web Center sites, assets, and attributes. Let's take a look. Here we see a website constructed in and delivered by Web Center Content and Site Studio. We'll hop into contribution mode, and as you can see, this page has three contribution elements, a plain text, an image, and a rich text editor. On the site side, we've created the necessary framework to intake the dozens of pages, just like the one we just saw. In this instance, we're translating Site Studio pages into Web Center Sites articles. Once we set up a rule for this action in the Team Sites connector, we're ready to go. Now content items can be migrated on either a one at a time or batch basis. Let's try just one. Simply engage the contribution editor and update the metadata field telling the connector to pick it up. That done, let's take a look at the connector queue to see if our item has been migrated. Yep, there it is. Now we'll switch to sites and with a quick search, we see our new article has been generated. Let's take a look at this item in the context of the site using the preview function. Assign a display template and there you have it. Our Site Studio data file has been migrated to the site's framework. On a batch basis, you can utilize the archiver utility within Web Center content to export and re-import a wide swath of content. With a small update to the metadata on re-import, the items which meet the connector rules criteria will be migrated over, just as the item we already saw. The Team Sites connector marries the power and potential of the content and sites platforms and provide you with an improved migration experience from your existing Site Studio projects. It allows you to utilize both platforms for their intended purpose and maintain the best of each for your ECM and WCM strategies. If you're interested in a customized demo or would just like to speak with us regarding anything you've seen here today, we'd love to talk to you. Thank you.